morning welcome back to another video my name is Clara if you're new here I live in Charleston and this is a day in my life very fun like casual not doing much today type of vlog so we're just gonna like run around town go to a couple stores run some errands it's a Friday so the week is almost over I just got out of one of the hardest hottest core power yoga sculpt classes that I've ever taken in my life halfway through the class I was like I'm gonna rate this one star like this is <laughs> way too hard and then at the end I felt accomplished so my bitterness is gone I'm rating it five stars don't worry but I booked through class pass if you don't use class pass or like you like taking workout classes but you don't want to buy into like one studio you like to kind of try around then class pass is a great option if you have like good studios on it in your area I'll leave my invite code in the description box I'm not like affiliated with them or anything but I have been a customer and user for gosh I think like three or four years now ever since I graduated college this was like my workout class option of choice so I booked through class pass if you've ever been curious I can talk more about that or maybe like post on Instagram or TikTok or something if you want to learn more about how I use class pass but just thought I would mention that I tried to freshen up a little bit after class I put on like a tinted moisturizer after I washed my face and I'm gonna run a couple errands now since I'm over on Mount Pleasant the kind of tricky thing about core power in Charleston is there's only one studio and it's all the way like kind of deep into Mount Pleasant so whenever I'm over here which isn't often um I like to maximize it and like run errands that I have on this side of town. So I have a couple returns to make. I want to get some stuff for a fun craft project today. It's going to be a nice chill day. I got most of my work done this morning. At the beginning of the vlog, I went to a coffee shop called Babasan Meeting. If you haven't been there, it's like my favorite place to go work from, but I went there to knock out like a huge portion of my to-do list. So I'm feeling good. I'm going to take a little break and go to a craft store. I really want to go to Old Navy. I've been seeing a lot of Old Navy content on TikTok, so I think I'm going to go there. And maybe we'll go to H&M later today because H&M has been all over my TikTok and they have some cute Stop. First stop of the day is Goodwill. Beelining it straight to like the vases and hosting stuff. What the heck? Perfect. Love all these little shelves. Next up is Old Navy and one of my favorite boutique style exchanges right next door so I might pop in there too. I kind of like this neckline so this might be worth trying on. They have quite a few colors. Maybe this one and this blue. Love these little sets too. I really want a red workout set and I like the cut of this tank, but I don't think they have any red leggings to go with it. First shirt. I love the color red on me, but I also always feel like a Target employee when I wear red, so I need to find like a good balance. This with some jeans might be giving Target employees, so I'm gonna try on the other colors. This is the light purple. And here is the baby blue. I think the blue is a winner. Imagine this with like a black workout set and my fun little new balances. I really wanted these to give the vibe of like the men's boxer shorts trend, but something about them is just not working. Maybe I'll look, no, I'm not gonna look back on this and regret. I think it's like just like an inch too long or something. I don't know, not my favorite. The price of this one is kind of unclear. It's tagged at 40. I don't think I would spend 40 on it, but they always have like sales on top of stuff. I don't really think you ever pay full price at Old Navy. There's like always something going on, but depending on what this one rings up as, she might be coming home with me. The last thing I picked up was this little ruched side navy blue like workout top. I kind of like it. We'll see how much this one actually is. Didn't end up getting anything at Old Navy because it rang up more expensive than I thought it was going to be. But I did go to the shop style exchange next door and I got a dress. And the last stop is Michael's back home now and you can clearly see there's a theme to everything that I got today. I'm throwing a little Galentine's Valentine's party next Friday so I want to send out invites today and tomorrow and by send out invites it's literally just people that I know that live in Charleston. I'm gonna like drop something off at their house and make it all cute but I want to do koozies again like I did for Lauren's birthday because I'm obsessed with that stuff now that I have my little Cricut cutting machine thing. So I just went and got some ribbons, some like battery powered candles, napkins, doilies and then at the thrift store I want to do floral arrangements for it. Um, So I just threw did some vases. I'll probably tie a bow at the bottom of this one, but I like thrifting stuff like this because I'll just redonate it afterwards. But how perfect is this round red vase that I found? And honestly, my nails match too. Very Valentine's. I'm so happy. Another thing that I thrifted. Are you freaking kidding me? I don't even think this is actual Ralph Lauren because it kind of looks like handmade, but maybe it's just so old that that's how they used to do it. I don't know. I'm going to shave it and keep this for a future baby that I'm not even sure I'm going to have. Um, But I feel like this is 
is the type of thing that you see in the store and you you grab it you get it you save it and what is that that's probably like a newborn baby size right i don't know there's no tag but i couldn't leave it behind just heated up a little lunch it's this rice chicken cucumber salad situation it's a side dish recipe that uses the creamy sesame dressing and if you want a couch update because in my last vlog i was washing all the cushion covers for it so if you want to see the actual process go back to the last video but i just got everything back on last night after they air dried and there's a couple of marks that you can kind of see they look more like shadows but in hindsight i would have pre-treated those a little bit more since i air dried them the stains aren't like set in so i can always you know try again later if i really care that much but looks so good smells so fresh and honestly the act of like taking off the cushion covers and then putting them back on really like fluffs up the couch and it looks so much more full I totally forgot that I have plans tonight. I'm going to Top Golf. Thank goodness I remembered. So I washed my hair so I can start air drying. And yes, if you're wondering if this is a Red Robin Juicy Couture little sweat set, it is. My friends Danielle and Brooke were the face of the campaign for this like juicier like burger Red Robin Juicy Couture campaign. How freaking cool is this? I never had a matching juicy set when I was growing up. And honestly, it was probably for the best because I feel like a menace in this. I feel like I'm kind of giving like Vector from The Incredibles, but but I'm freaking obsessed. They sent me a medium in the bottoms and a medium in the top. I might have to go buy like a neutral color juicy sweatsuit. This is so comfortable. And what are the odds? I was literally just saying that I want more red in my wardrobe. Well, not only did I forget that I was going to Top Golf at seven, I forgot that I had a housewarming party at six. So I'm running out right now to see what little gift I can throw together in the next like 30 minutes before I have to start getting ready. I have to admit that as I sit in traffic, like 25 minutes away from my house, I just thought of like the best gift idea that was five minutes away from my house, but I'm just gonna continue on. I'm on the way to Goodwill actually, ironically, cause I was just there today to get a vase. Cause I wanna get them flowers, but whenever you give flowers, especially in like a housewarming like party situation, you don't want like to have to stop and put them in water and it's like a whole thing so i like to gift flowers in a vase and goodwill is like the best place to just stock up on like cute unique vases that you know people can either keep or they can redonate. i don't really care um so i'm on the way there right now even though i went earlier today should have looked should have thought i actually had a spare vase in my hand and i just didn't buy it because i was like i don't know the next time i'll need something like that silly me but i was just thinking that i actually have a spare copy of my favorite defined dish cookbook at my house so i'm definitely going to give them that and i'll bookmark a couple of my favorite recipes in there and then flowers and i don't know but i definitely did not need to drive all the way over here i just kind of like frantic and i'm like oh my gosh i need to get in the car now but like if i just like stopped for a second i could have been home and getting ready i laid out a couple outfit options too before i left so i kind of already know what i'm gonna wear hair is gonna be dry i'm probably just gonna use like one of those heated round brushes and like kind of sleek it down and flip the ends a little bit and then makeup will be easy because i used my self tanning drops last night so my skin looks even i'll just put on like a tinted moisturizer oh gosh silly me though i did not have to come out here all right we're already here let's see what we can find this is kind of cute little shell dish okay here are the vases this one's really pretty it's just from hobby lobby nothing crazy let's see what else is there that could be cute that's kind of cute and interesting. Is that cute and interesting or am I just desperate? I'm like, this is a Pottery Barn wine cooler, but I should just go to Pottery Barn and buy a new one. I was really just here for a vase and honestly, not seeing one. That stinks, there was the perfect one at the other Goodwill. This is where I should have come in the first place. Here's what I ended up with. I did some like cute little gift baskets for people in my life over the holidays and I miscounted. So I actually had an extra defined dish cookbook like I mentioned, but also an unopened, obviously like unused bottle of dead cool detergent. So how cute is that? Also got a bottle of non-alcoholic wine because I think they're doing like an extended dry January thing. So just to be safe. And a gorgeous bouquet of flowers with no vase. Can't win them all. So I think that's so cute. Outfit of the night, quick wardrobe change into this gray i don't know what you would call this like off the shoulder shirt from urban outfitters black jeans gonna wear my white sneakers and i'm bringing like my big black purse maybe this is like better lighting but i put in big gold earrings and i think this is gonna turn into a weekend in my life vlog because i'm probably not gonna bring my camera out tonight which means i will pick up the vlog tomorrow starting off saturday with a bagel i always get a bacon egg and cheese on everything and if you're coming to charleston skip holy city bagels that's the place everyone will tell you to go but you have to go to Spread Bagelry. They just opened one downtown. So same difference as Holy City. 
variety, but they do like the wood fired bagels and it's just 10 times better. You have to trust me on that. It is like a crisp low 60s today. So I have my windows open and I'm like airing out rooms. That's one thing I love about living here. Compared to my last place, I was in a high rise apartment that the windows just didn't open in. So there was like air filters and supposedly fresh air was getting pumped into the units. I don't know. It felt kind of stuffy in there towards the end of just one year living there. So I can't imagine what it's going to be like in that building in like 10 years because it was a new build. But regardless, whenever the weather is nice enough, I've been opening all the windows I can and just getting fresh air in here. And like 65 or whatever temperature it is today is like the prime open window spot because it's not making it any colder in here that I probably would have kept it at. And it's not like raising the temperature either. So I have my bathroom windows open. It just feels so bright in here. You can't tell. I mean, that's open, but the shade's drawn because this is the toilet room. But it just feels so fresh. It's giving major spring cleaning energy. Gotta pick the best one to offer to Polly. I think that's the winner. Oh. Don't get it on the rug. I'm gonna have to hold it for you. I'm making one of my all-time favorite like spring summer lunches. I'm in full spring mode now because the windows are open. I ran out and got an avocado, some strawberries, which I just cut some of them up. And then it's a salad that I like to make over, it's usually arugula, but there was no arugula at the grocery store. I don't know if there's something going on with arugula right now. I feel like there's always some weird lettuce thing, but it's the strawberries, arugula, or I guess just any lettuce, avocado, grilled chicken, burrata, and balsamic glaze. Oh my gosh. It's life-changing. It's so good. It's so fresh. Very summer. Perfect avocado. This is a great sign. I don't really menu plan on the weekends, but I'll just kind of get ingredients or eat out as I as I go. Cause like my weekends aren't really planned out like they are my week. And now I'm gonna go upstairs and grill some chicken for it. Finished product. Here's how it looks with the chicken. I just added a little bit more of the glaze too. And I'm gonna eat outside. I've been parked right here on the couch for the rest of the afternoon. After I went outside and ate, I just sat down here and sun is long gone. I closed the curtains and I guess it's like six o'clock now. So I should start thinking about dinner. But I never talked about Top Golf in like my evening last night. I feel like over the weekends, I will do one fun thing, like evening-esque social activity. And then the rest of the weekend is just like relaxing and recharging and then obviously Obviously Sundays is like my Sunday reset day. But we need to talk about salt burn because after Top Golf, Top Golf was fun. I had a good time, whatever. I came home and I watched Salt Burn because everyone's been talking about that movie. I'm down for like like a thriller, you know, psychological type of movie. I don't know what to call that. I did not like that one bit, and I feel like I have a a good tolerance for kind of like weird movies like that. Um, I really didn't like it. If you haven't seen it yet, it's kind of gross. I don't really know what other word for it. It's like kind of gross, right? Um, not a fan. So if you've been like trying to, you know, block out an evening or something to watch that movie, maybe don't. Maybe I just didn't know what I was going to get myself into, but not a fan. So... There's that. I wish I had like a movie recommendation to offer in its place, but I don't. Um, if you have any movie recommendations to offer in its place, then add them below because I can't be alone in saying that like I just didn't like Saltburn and I don't get why it's getting like so much hype right now. Maybe for like cinematic quality or like editing, maybe on more of like a technical basis, it's groundbreaking, but the actual plot to the movie, not a fan. In case you haven't heard, I got a pizza oven for Christmas. I got one of those little uni tabletop wood fire pizza oven things, and I need to get better at using it because I want to have people over to do a make your own pizza night, but that would require me actually knowing how to make them without burning it. So I got some store-bought dough. I'm still not to the level of like making my own dough, but I'm going to do a margarita pizza with pasta sauce. I don't know if that's a faux pas, but I had some of this left over in the fridge. So some of that, some monster maybe I'll do some pepperoni so then I guess it wouldn't be a margarita anymore it would be a pepperoni pizza but this is the plan for dinner here's what I came up with let's go see if this burns into flames well believe it or not this is a more successful attempt than the first time every Sunday I clean my place in the time it takes to wash and dry my sheets so let's get these going that wasn't too bad that was my first take 
It's tempting to put my duvet and the sheets all in one load, but they do clean better when I separate them. So every two weeks I'll clean my duvet, every week I clean my sheets. But that does mean that today's Sunday reset is technically two loads of laundry, but I only ever show the sheet part. Bedroom and bathroom are done, moving on to the kitchen. looking so good. I'm almost done with the downstairs. The last thing I'm going to do is run my little mop vacuum situation to clean the floors really quickly and then I'm actually going to move upstairs. Looking so good up here. I even dragged up the mop vac to do these floors because I usually just vacuum these. I've never actually mopped them but it feels so fresh and I opened that window to get some fresh air in here. Now that I'm done filming I will airdrop it all to my computer and start editing. Hopefully we'll get this live by like noon today. And then I have to get myself ready for the day because I feel like a gremlin. Just got everything edited and airdropped to my phone. It is now 1 p.m. So it's practically lunchtime. I started cleaning, I think, at like 9. So the cleaning was like 9 to 11. And then the editing was 11 to 1. If you're curious about like the timing of my Sunday resets and stuff. I made the joke that I should have started doing a like Wednesday reset or something. So I don't have to do, well, not that I have to do this on Sundays. But definitely the filming and editing and content side of things prolongs the reset routine that I used to do and obviously not film. But if you've ever wanted perspective on how long the actual video video creation side of it takes. It takes, I would say it adds probably about three hours to the whole process. But I'm not complaining. I love making the videos. It's very motivating. I know for other people, but also for me too. And a couple people told me I should just film it earlier in the week and then post it on Sundays. But then I feel like we just wouldn't be cleaning together. I think it's kind of fun that when I'm cleaning and editing the video, I picture people doing the same. I'm just slapping on some tinted moisturizer and I think I'm gonna go out to lunch because I don't have Groceries, actually, I do have groceries, but they're dinner groceries. And I need to check to make sure the chicken's still good. Just threw this slow cooker tagine, tagine. It's um, a Moroccan dish. I've never really cooked Moroccan food before and obviously this is an inspired thing. So I'm not sure how accurate it will really be, but I just threw it together in the crock pot. Well, this is my new crock pot. It's the Our Place Dream Cooker. My mom got me this for Christmas. I am freaking obsessed. It's like a pressure cooker, slow cooker. It can saute, it can keep things warm, obviously, but it's all in one and it looks pretty sleek. I love that it has like a countdown digital display. This is my new crock pot. I still have my old one in case I want to do like multiple things but this is my new situation and I'm loving it. So dinner is prepped and now dinner is served. Should have used green olives, but I didn't realize I was out. So there's Kalamata olives in there instead, but I'm so excited to try this. I'll link it in the description box if it's any good. I love an everything shower on days that I wash my sheets. It only feels right to get into bed, like I'll clean myself. Finally restocked on my favorite leave-in detangler conditioner spray, the Unite 7 Seconds Detangler. I get mine on Amazon. I know a lot of people are a little bit like suspicious and apprehensive to order beauty products on Amazon, but I do it and I have never had any like questionable, is this a genuine product situation, at least for this product. I'll link it in the description box. I really like it. I stopped using it for a little bit because I honestly ran out of it. And I think it's $35 or something it's like just enough where i was like uh do i really need it and then i went a couple weeks without it and i really needed it i caught up on some youtube and watched some tv for the rest of the evening nothing crazy and now i'm just gonna get in bed scroll on my phone a little bit and get ready for tomorrow i actually leave for my trip to new york city tomorrow and i leave at night i'm not really a night flight type of person but at least i'll have the whole day to kind of like pack and get ready i've been pulling clothes aside that i think i'm gonna pack um but nothing's like actually packed so i'll do all my packing in the morning but needless to say tomorrow is going to be crazy busy i am all oiled up and ready for bed i hope you enjoyed this little impromptu weekend in my life video if you're new here make sure you're subscribed if you want to see more of my videos and if you're not new here double check and see if you're subscribed because i know youtube will keep feeding you my videos regardless if you've watched multiple but do me a favor and make sure you're actually subscribed i'm actually not planning on vlogging my new york trip i'm sorry to disappoint but if you want to see content from that go follow me on tiktok and instagram i'll make sure my handles are on the screen but with that i'm going to bed 
I hope you had a great day and I will see you in the next video.